What is going on guys? Last NASCAR fan here and we have another diecast review to do. And this diecast review is going to be on a car that has had a couple and has had many, I wouldn't say a couple, but many diecast reviews in its past decade or so. However, though, this is just going to be my version of this diecast review. It's on a card that's pretty actually common to find as a promo. It's not too hard to find, but one of its other counter cars is. We'll get into that card shorter, though. Uh, not shorter, but later. But we're going to bring you that car that we're going to review. You're already going to see it by the thumbnail. It is the 2007 David Stremme Tums Dodge promo for Chip Ganassi Racing. So this car was actually ran at the 2007 LifeLock 400 at Chicagoland Speedway. And that's all we know. Other than that though, this car was, this you were able to get this car by actually buying a, like a three pack of Tums and then they would have the die cast in a small little like um, promo box. And they had the same thing with another version of this card that I want to that I'll be reviewing a little later. It's um brother counterpart. Many people like GGO NASCAR have reviewed this before, and this card has just enamored me for a long time. As I got this actually off eBay in 2020. This was actually my first part of my first ever eBay purchase that I did for NASCAR iCast. Kind of like how it resulted in my collection growing very rapidly so pretty much base base paint on here it's blue got the tums logo dodge charger got tums logo lone star saloon bosch tums on the tv panel got lone star steakhouse saloon and then you got contingencies up there, Dodge Tums. No Coors Light, because then this would have had to be on a base, which is kind of okay. And then this is actually on the generic body. This promo is on the generic body out of all bodies. But yeah, this is a very, very, very nice promo, and I'm really happy to review it finally for once in my pathetic years of knowing of this car's existence. The, usually the 2007 um, Coors Light's kind of hard to find as well as the Steakhouse. So I'd like to get those eventually, but it's pretty nice to just have this one for now. But yeah, this is, was short diecast review. Thank you so much for watching. Comment, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell for brand new videos, and we'll see you in the next diecast review. Peace out, guys. Take care. Have a good one.